Hello guys, and in today's video we're going to be talking about Trials of Osiris, and more specifically my thoughts on the playlist as a whole, and the sandbox, and how it coexists with Trials of Osiris. So to get started, we're going to talk about loot incentive, and just the overall game type, I guess. So to start, I guess, with the game type is, I was... Uh, for me personally, I'm not a fan of normal trials. I prefer zone control trials because teams are not allowed to sit in the back of their spawn. Well, they're allowed, but you know, they're punished because there's a zone that pushes them. You know, if you, if you don't push the zone, then you lose the game. So a lot, there's a lot of teams that I have played this weekend that would not push and you would have to push them. And it's just not very fun to like, I, I don't even think it's fun to like sit in the back of your spawn. Honestly, like I don't think it's fun for anyone and it's just less exciting as well. Like it's exciting to me to like be like, okay, we got to push here. Like there's no, there's no sitting back. We have to push. And if we lose this round, we lose the game. It's, I don't know. I, I just like the fact that you have to push and that you can't sit back. And uh, uh, personally, that's for me, something that's lacking from trials at the moment. Uh, on top of tons and tons of other things one of the things that I could definitely realistically see being changed that is it that's one of them another thing is loot incentive is not too great this season this season we have the summoner which was in previous seasons and I don't remember the name of the scout rifle off the top of my head I think it's like Aishia's Embrace or something like that. I might be thinking of another weapon entirely. But that weapon's actually pretty good. It's, I think it's definitely better than the Scholar, in my opinion. Is it a weapon that will drive fire incentive? Probably not. And, you know, at the same time, we have the... Reed's Regret as well, but the Reed's Regret is all, ret it's a returning weapon, and really the only reason you'd want to go for it is for the Vice Stinger perk, which kind of sucks because you're sitting there rewriting the, the same weapon that you already have for an Origin trait. I almost kind of wish that they would have retroactively added Origin traits to all of the weapons in the game, but then again, you know, that would take out tons of grinding that they they like they would be losing out on tons of like player time or play time rather um than if you know they didn't do that so i completely understand on their part but it would have been nice i guess because even for me like my debt pounds room i have almost 40k kills i'm not gonna sit there and regrind for another pally i have almost 40k kills with it vanguard vindication gives you like barely any health but at the same time i would like to have vanguard vindication because that barely like that teeny bit of health can definitely make a difference but i'm unfortunately not gonna take the time to do that because i just don't have i just don't want to man i just do not want to at the moment and now i guess we will talk about how I think the sandbox plays out and how exactly, you know, things are for trials. And I guess to start, we'll touch on Void 3.0. I think Titan over shields, I, I think, I don't know, I think they're very strong and they might be a little bit too strong, but at the same time, I don't think they need to be nerfed in the ground. I think with Titan over shields, I just think you should not be able to sit there and regen your overshield. For PvE, that's fine, but I think in PvP, you know, you throw down the shield, there's that initial shielding that occurs, but after that, there's no more shielding. Like, I don't know, it just seems kind of ridiculous that you can sit there and regain your overshield over and over again. Uh, maybe not, though. I don't know, maybe maybe lower the overall health of the overshield, make it like 30 or something. Um, I just... And then for Hunter, Hunter is a, a weird one for me. I don't know how I feel about it entirely still after the first week i i like i play spectral hunter like i main spectral i've been maining spectral for years now and they pretty much just completely removed my neutral game so now i'm forced to play hunter invis and i, I don't like hunter invis and i I don't want to play it, but I kind of have to if I want to play Spectral, so I don't, I don't know how to feel about it. I think it's good. I'm not really sure if I think it's overpowered. I have very mixed feelings about it. And then Warlock, I feel like Warlock somehow got worse in terms of Void 3.0. Like, it got worse somehow, and I, I don't know, it's just weird to me that it did because I, it got buffed pretty much, but it's somehow... I think it's just everything else got buffed more than it did, so now it's not as good because everything else got buffed, if that makes any sense. Like, they got buffed above it whereas previously i feel like void warlock with the grapes and everything was actually pretty good like it was not bad before they introduced void 3.0 but i just don't feel like you see as many people running that yeah i mean currently at least it, it doesn't seem that way so and then other than that there's nothing really 
too different about the sandbox. I think DMT is not nearly as prevalent, thank God. The stasis, the stasis gauntlets are still very good. Or they're not very good, they, they are good. They, they were introduced this expansion and they're very good. I don't know how to feel about them yet either. I don't feel like they're too overpowered, but today I was playing with Jake. By the way, I'm recording this after, like directly after my stream with Jake. And after I finish recording this, I am going to bed because I'm going to be waking up to play with Lippy at 5 or 6.30. But I was playing with Jake today and there were several gunfights where he was just able to throw his nade down. And I mean, he just wins them because he's a sidearm or just a close, a close quarters weapon and takes like no damage and it's just free free gunfights and free kills pretty much for your nade and i'm not really sure how they would balance that maybe make it so i don't know maybe make it so you just don't get any damage resistance but i don't know if it's really that overpowered like i said i'm not i'm not sure how to feel about it at the moment because there's not really too i haven't played with it enough and experienced enough to like really form an opinion on it i think trials at the moment though like overall just to give a good summary on it it's not in a horrible state right now just for a general summary not too bad not per not in a good one though it's not good but not bad it's kind of somewhere in the middle i hope that you know next season we get more i don't i think hopefully we'll be getting new armor i don't know i think they were saying we get new armor or something every two seasons but i'm not sure about that i don't remember the specifics of those things i do know for a fact that we will be getting a comp rework in season 18 and a new crucible map in season 18 that was promised i believe is the correct wording to use there promise or maybe i don't know if promise would be the right word but maybe rumored but i'm not really too sure with trials i definitely think we need some new weapons and one thing this season has shown us is that they can make dupes of the same weapon type i guess because we have two scouts we have the scholar and then this new scout so they will they are like willing to make two of the same weapon for me i thought they wouldn't be doing that i, f I figured they were going to make like you know one one of each weapon type like we don't have a lmg we don't have a bow we don't have a sidearm we don't have things like that so but i guess you know they're just not going to make those things and i'm kind of happy they didn't because i think if they made like a trials of osiris scout or not scout a sidearm or a bow or an lmg people would not want those things because quite frankly bows sidearms and lmgs like maybe maybe i don't know maybe people would but but it wouldn't be like as sought after as like a shotgun or a sniper or something like that. So we'll end the video here. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you all in the next one. Um, as I'm recording this, it's going to be, like I said, directly after my stream. So when this goes live, I should be streaming. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.